welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting question this question was uh, Berkeley qualifying question University of California so question is how many square roots uh, does this matrix has so and also uh, find a square root of matrix this matrix so uh, we can take a is equal to this matrix and uh, first of all uh, we know this is a uh, upper triangular matrix also the matrix has uh, three distinct eigenvalues so uh, we know the uh, three distinct uh, eigenvalues so we know this is diagonalizable matrix so uh, if we take eigenvalues eigenvalues we know one four nine one four nine okay then uh, we should find the eigenvectors uh, so we can use a minus lambda times i uh, x is equal to zero matrix uh, however uh, i skip uh, this process uh, because i think you can find it easily uh, so if you uh, find uh, eigenvectors uh, we'll have one zero zero then uh, 1 1 0 then 0 1 1 okay this is the eigenvector eigenvectors of uh, this matrix now uh, we can write uh, matrix of the eigenvalues invertible matrix we know p is equal to P is equal to 1 0 0 so 1 0 0 here 1 1 0 1 1 0 here 0 1 1 okay this is the invertible matrix now uh, we can write diagonal matrix we know uh, D is equal to uh, I can values 1 4 9 so 1 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 9 well then uh, we know uh, a is equal to p t p inverse uh, we talked about uh, this formula uh, about this formula in previous videos so uh, if we take a to the n we know this is equal to p d to the n p inverse now here uh, this is uh, the matrix D so uh, if we write D to the N we can write D to the N is equal to 1 to the N 0 0 0 4 to the N here 0 uh, 0 0 here 9 to the N okay then uh, we can write uh, A to the N a to the n is equal to p p we know invertible matrix uh, 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 uh, times d to the n d to the n here we have uh, 1 to the n 0 0 0 4 to the n 0 0 0 9 to the n and then uh, p inverse so i also skip this process uh, because uh, you can find uh, inverse of a matrix so uh, p inverse if you calculate you will have p inverse 1 minus 1 1 uh, then 0 1 minus 1 mm, 0 0 1 okay now we have a to the n so we need to score root of a so uh, I'm going to apply one half so here a to the one half we know this is equal to square root of a and we can write uh, this is equal to uh, 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 here uh, one half so instead of n now one half so one to the one half is square root of one we know 
plus or minus plus or minus 1 0 0 here 0 here plus or minus 2 0 0 0 plus or minus 3 times p inverse uh, sorry 1 uh, minus 1 1 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 okay now uh, it's clear uh, now we have 8 square roots because uh, if you change plus and minus signs you will have 8 values so we have 8 square roots so now we should find uh, one of them so uh, if we take uh, all positive values we can write uh, square root of a is equal to 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 and here now we are going to take uh, positive values so 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 3 times 1 minus 1 1 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 okay now uh, you can uh, simplify uh, if we simplify this we'll have uh, the matrix 1 1 minus 1 0 uh, 2 1 0 0 3 okay this is the one of the square root of uh, this matrix and uh, we have 8 square roots of this matrix if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching